uh, we need to check some important factors prior to design high rise buildings those i will show one by one today i will show base shear check as per aci code base shear check is an important check to be confirmed that the etaps model is accurate for applied loading or not let's see we will go to the table check uh, base reactions so total dead load at the base is this one copy this one put here total live load is this one copy this put here this one other loading like super dead or uh, masonry or brick wall any other you defined in the model that will come here so we have defined here only dead and lead live so we put this two so earthquake load coming here qx1 to almost 230 230 230 230 just copy this one put here this one so as per etaps value we have got base share is 2.53 percent uh, of uh, total load total structure load this is a uh, earthquake load this this is coming from total load total uh, weight of the building um, the earthquake load divided by total weight of the building into 100 that is coming like 2.53 percent here it is a uh, cell format is as the percentage that's why the 100 is not shown manual check now come seismic zone coefficient it is same as uh, provided in etaps we have provided same like this one check 0.15 side coefficient 1.5 uh, important factor is one and uh, response modification factor eight here we will provide provide eight and the building height building height we will see this is almost one hundred zero three one zero three feet that means one zero three so here it is 3.59 percent as per manual check so not too much uh, difference between these two so we can consider this uh, model is almost uh, accurate as per loading condition if it has base shear varies in large number from calculated base shear then check the model for loading and any other problem so thanks to everyone for watching and subscribe my channel for upcoming tutorials